Hello and welcome to Chapter 9 from Stevens' Introduction to Statistics, the Think and Do book. In this chapter, we're, con we're going to continue with hypothesis testing. Um, only now, instead of having a single sample, like we did in Chapter 8, we're now going to have two samples, right? And this is much more practical because it allows us to investigate a lot of comparisons between two groups. Um, because before, in Chapter 8, we had to say something like, you know, we claim the mean is greater than 98.6. You know, we had to we had to come up with a number here. Whereas, a lot of times you want to say, you know, is one is the mean from one group different from the mean from the other? And that's what we can do here, and it really improves our ability to conduct tests um, from a practical standpoint. Um, and again, we will be talking about um, means and proportions, right? And um, this chapter will allow us to do things like, you know, determine whether or not um, medication A does indeed lower cholesterol levels, or test a claim that older siblings have a higher IQ than younger siblings. You know, you'd 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 have the older sibling, you'd get you'd get the mean from a bunch of older siblings, mean from a bunch of younger siblings, and you have two samples and you compare that mean. And just like the medication A. Here, the medication A, you'd have, you know, say, cholesterol levels before the medication and cholesterol levels after. So you have two samples. For this third one, students who study music do better in math. You'd take a sample from students who did study music and a sample from students who did not study music, and you would compare their math scores. People are taller in the morning than at night. Again, two samples, morning sample, night sample. Motivational speakers improve employee satisfaction. You can test that claim. You have to have a either maybe a before or after, or maybe two groups, some that saw the motivational speaker, other that didn't. You can test a claim that it rains more on weekends than on weekdays. You know, and there's your two samples. There's the weekend days and the weekday days. So so allowing our so expanding our hypothesis testing to two samples allows us to compare two populations, and it really opens up the world of um, tests that we conduct and claims that we can uh, investigate. This book is set up so that these tests can be done by hand, and in some cases that means I actually provide some of the um, necessary information because it's too hard to calculate by hand. Um, but even with that, the, the calculations can get pretty messy, and um, most of these tests probably should be done with software, and in practice, they would all be done with software. Um, but we'll start with the easiest one, because that one's the easy. Uh, we'll start with the easiest one to do by hand, um, because you've actually s seen basically that same test. Um, but then as we get into the next two after that, independent means and proportions, the calculations get a little messy. And if you have a graphing calculator, they, that can help things out. Or, or even um, Excel, SPSS, Minitab, Jump, any, any software um, package will we'll have procedures for doing these. Um, okay, so we'll start 9.1 in the next video. See you soon. Or talk to you soon. Bye.